let's do this. All right, so in 2011, we were, uh, I, I had recently put out of these trailers of me flipping around in Friol. I had learned uh, the round of backhand swing backflip. Um, it, ha it had a name. I, I don't remember what it was. So I put those out. I think Duane then messaged me on Facebook or he had my number. Uh, at this point in time, I was friends with Duane and all that cut off, then friends, then cut off. So there was a lot of that happening. So yeah, Duane got in touch. Uh, he asked me to come and join uh, EXD for the tournament at Act 1. Brandon said, hey, Mikhail has become very good now. So, he said, okay, uh, let's go ahead and do that. We didn't take Donald's consent on this. And seeing that the moves they had could definitely gel with us. And then that's how we came up with this team. Some of our crew members were not happy with it. So, they put the team in as well to compete against us. But you know, the best is the best. That's why that's how we won it. There were many challenges, there were many good teams, like UC. UC gave us a tough time. And well, overall, the journey was amazing. Like, uh, we had all our practices going on in Frey Hall. Like, that was like our home ground where we were like always practicing, always trying out new moves, uh, helping out each other, try to get the flips done. And well, it was pretty great. I mean, it was fun while it lasted. And as far as the, the, the Act 1 battle that we had, the final battle, that was amazing. That was like nothing that I've ever done before. And well, I'd say it was a tough battle. It was really heaty, like really, really hot out there. But however, we, we pulled through. We kind of pulled through real good. I mean... Uh, we were the first crew to win the first ever B-Boying Championship in Karachi. It was a very overwhelming feeling. Uh, we were very joyful about w how it was, how it turned out to be, because we had did had no expectations. We didn't know we were going in there as the underdogs and you know going to win that competition. Uh, we did it. Uh, it was very joyful. It was for Gavin that we did it for. We broke out into tears. There were a lot of emotions going on at that point. There was a lot of things playing on our minds at that point in time. But it was full of happiness that we were happy that we finally did, uh, we made it. Um, as soon as that finished, uh, that's where EXG basically uh, took off and that's where we started to, you know, rise up. We got a lot of interviews, a lot of morning shows, a lot of performances. Uh, that's where all our success started to, uh, you know, rise up and catch up onto all the efforts that we put in. So we didn't stop there, we still worked our way through, we still worked as hard as we could, we were training every day, we didn't have any training grounds or anything as such, we, we just needed a floor and that was it and we just practiced day in day out, putting all in our sweat, blood, everything into that and uh, it really showed off as well, it paid off as well, um, there were a lot of good things, a lot of bad things that happened as well. Um, so long has been a very great journey uh, throughout this entire thing and uh, if you look back onto it it may look like it's just a small bunch of guys just doing their dance and they did really good and you know they were the best and stuff but deep within that that's where nobody knew what was basically going on because you know good things don't come just uh, given into your hands there's a lot of sacrifice a lot of fights a lot of there's a lot of other things that basically go down in it mm -hmm.